Okay. Amesbury FM. I'm coming at you actually today from uh, South Oxfordshire. It's a little bit windy up here. I'll go somewhere where it's less windy. No, there really isn't anywhere. Just been thinking about this week and what I've been seeing on Twitter. Um, Bedshire, Bedshire, Bedfordshire Police now are advertising to the world that they're closing people's gyms down. And, um, you know, they cl clearly consider this to be in the public interest to be uh, communicating this to the public. Now, either they didn't know for the Twitter storm that this would provoke, or they don't care. Um, because it most certainly produced a Twitter storm. Their justification was, is that the job of the police is to enforce government guidelines. It's their literal words. Those are the exact words. And so, and nobody picked up on this. But the general flavour of the commentary is that people are not very happy about this, you know. They don't think this is the kind of thing that police should be doing. And of course, depending on who's commenting, the comments vary in the kind of strength. But one of the things I'm also noticing is that people are also dissatisfied with the NHS now. Um, I've seen pictures of graffiti up saying, fuck the NHS. You know, um, we might be about to see another spate of TikTok videos. This is not going down well with the public. And again, when I go on to certain Twitter, th Twitter, well, not threads exactly, but posts, storms, um, the comments that I notice are increasingly dissatisfied. And it's clearly come as a surprise to people that they are now slaves of the NHS. Now, it perhaps wasn't a surprise to them that they could become slaves to the police or the police state. That is something you can conceive. But the idea that you could become slaves to the NHS is a surprise to people. But the reality is, is that the the reality is that the uh, the dialectic has been going in that direction for a long time now, at least 15 or 20 years that I recall. And one of the things I've noticed is that, is that the NHS and its constituent bodies has sought to invade upon people's lifestyles because you know when you have a national health service what tends to happen is is that sick people become a problem rather than sickness being a problem that we should try and solve in the most humane way possible sick people become the problem and so people have to live lifestyles that prevent them becoming a problem for the rest of us it's a kind of common good argument and the natural outcome of this is what we've seen we've seen calls for a sugar tax we've seen calls for a reduction in, in the amount of salt in foods all sorts of things like this you know and well beyond just food and one of the things I'm noticing now is that people are now 
well, this year it's become really obvious that we are slaves of the NHS. It would appear that all of government policy is driven by advice from health so-called experts. And, and now I think people are starting to realise where all this has led. And it's led them to a point where, you know, it's actually a, a medical tyranny. And the police just enforce it. And they enforce it by preventing people going to gyms. Well, I guess that's 2020 for you. Okay, so long. Thanks for all the fish.